Hello! Welcome to Kiss Crazy. I'm Shula. Today we're going to be talking about our little visit to Las Vegas and one of the few stops that we actually went to. One of them was my favorite. Can you guess which one? Planet 13. When I first went there, I was absolutely amazed because they have like amazing people there that will give you the ups and downs and the benefits and the everything, the, the whole science behind it, where it comes from and what type of weed is the best for you if you wanted to grow some or sell it. As soon as you go in, five, maybe seven people in the front who would greet you immediately and they're really, really nice. None of them are high, none of them are like, all like, prudy or like, with their stick up their butt. They're all really chill. They ask for your ID and they give you like a little ticket and that ticket is the only way that you'll be able to go in into the weed area. I'm gonna just say that the security guard was there. Fire. Oh my God, they are so freaking cute. Like, I was like, hey. How are you? I'm, I'm su I am suck at flirting, so don't judge me on that. When we first go in, and we go behind the desk, there's this really cool little, uh, it's like a touch screen where you just step on it and it has a bunch of koi fish and lily pads on it. It'd be really cool. I danced on that for a little bit, too. The koi fish are really cool, they just swim away. On the left, there's a restaurant, and it's called The Rickety Cricket. It's actually a kind of funky name, but it actually fits well with it. It's very, very open. And it's really big and spacious. There's a lot of space for people to eat. I think you could fit probably about 100 people in there. And it's really clean, too. It has, like, marble counters and really colorful chairs. And it has everything that you'll need. But once you get to the counter... All the list menus and items look like they would probably be infused because of the name, but it's not. It's just regular, really good food. All the people who are working in there were like weed scientists. They told us everything that we needed to know and all of our questions. They could answer any of them. It's a base out of California, funny enough. Um, but they do a pretty good job. When we go in, everything is glass case, like a museum. It was really cool. They even have everything together in, on its own little placard with its own name. And it even tells you what's on them. It's really cool and how they had everything just separated and organized. It felt really, really professional. And it looked really professional, so it looked like you could take them seriously. There is actually a, a really rare uh, strain where it's like you can smoke it or eat it but you won't be able to eat anything else because you won't like pig out, you know, pig. Yeah. Which I found pretty cool but it's rare and it's hard to find stuff like that. Humulane or something like that but if you find it and if it sounds close to it, that's the one. But if you do find it, you're in luck. They gave us a lot of information, but we did write it down. The guy who helped us out, if you ever see this, thank you very much. Because if it wasn't for you, I wouldn't be making this video. A rare turkey you don't see too often. Kind of has like a tropical taste to it. And it's responsible for a very happy and kind of an elated high. Um, so I always like to recommend that one. People say like, oh, something that's going to taste really good and make me really happy. We, we do that pineapple upside down cake. That's what I got from Planet 13. I hope you enjoyed this video. Have a nice day.